Grunials do not only react to the aldehydes to give the corresponding uh, secondary alcohols. Grunials also react with ketones. Grunials also react with formaldehyde. So let's draw structure, general representations of these reactions. So this is a ketone. That's a ketone. We can react this ketone with a Grignard reagent. And remember, Grignards are nucleophilic. They are also basic. That's because carbon bonded to magnesium is negatively polarized, if you like. There is a negative delta. That's because carbon is an unmetal. Carbon pulls electrons toward itself, and that's the Mg bone, because carbon, again, is more electronegative than, than magnesium being a metal, obviously. So you take a ketone, you react it with um, a Grignard reagent. So what happens is that um, a tertiary alcohol is actually formed. And that R prime, this R prime, okay, comes from the, from the corresponding Grignard. So this is a tertiary alcohol and of course we get tertiary alcohol if we start with a with a ketone okay so that's that's basically the reaction of ketones with Grignards in order to form the corresponding tertiary alcohol please notice that these two groups here are these two groups in other words these two groups come from the from the ketone whereas this additional group comes from the from the Grignard Grignard reagents also react with formaldehyde so this is formaldehyde if you react it with the with a grignard in general of that formula grignard addition or nucleophilic addition takes place now the two groups are h and h basically these are only hydrogen so the product is actually a primary alcohol so the product that is produced is r prime coming from the Grignard that will attack, of course, that carbon. So this should be bonded to that carbon. Remember that carbon? Okay, that one is basically that one. This carbon of the, um, of the formaldehyde is actually that one, which gets attacked by the, by the Grignard reagent. This is formaldehyde. And if formaldehyde reacts with the Grignard reagent, as in this case, the alcohol that's produced is a primary alcohol. So these two schemes now re represent um, two additional reactions, if you like, or applications of the Grignard chemistry or the Grignard nucleophilic addition on carbonyl compounds. To conclude after that, Grignards attack ketones to give the corresponding tertiary alcohol with more carbons and the additional number of carbons comes from the from the Grignard. Grignard reagents also attack uh, formaldehyde or they uh, add in, uh, to uh, formaldehyde in nucleophilic addition reaction to give the corresponding primary alcohol and the additional increase in the number of carbon again comes from the corresponding Grignard. We've seen before that Grignards also react with aldehydes to give the corresponding uh, secondary alcohol. Therefore, in conclusion now, we can actually make all kinds or all types of alcohols using the Grignard chemistry or utilizing nucleophilic addition reactions of Grignards on carbonyl compounds.